guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this wig unit i received from yolissa hair this is a 13 by 4 hd water wave wig they did send over some lashes and a brush and also a band to lay the hair down and this is how the wig unit is looking like y'all i did receive a 22 inch and this is how the lace is looking like it's definitely giving hd this is a 13 by 4 wig unit um the texture is water wave which is absolutely stunning as you guys can see i am now creating my bald cap i am creating two holes on both sides of the ear and yeah i'm just doing how i usually do my bald cap i really like this new transparent wig caps that the wig brand sent over because it definitely makes my install look really good because how transparent and natural it looks. So I'm just coming in with my Ebon Wonder Lace Spray, spraying that throughout my hairline. And I'm just coming in with my blow dryer to make sure that everything is fully dry before I go ahead and cut that off. So I did that about two to three times. So now it's time to cut off the wig cap. So I like to start from the middle and then work my way to the side of um, the wig cap. And you also want to make sure that it's fully dried before you go ahead and cut it off. And I also like to make sure that the back is tied um, and secure because you don't want this wig cap moving at all, especially in the back. So I'm just coming in with some makeup. I'm using the Ruby Kisses in the shade RDF09 and also my foundation, um, Born This Way and Chai. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that throughout my wig cap. I like to mix those two foundations together. And I also like to, you know, make sure I blend them out very well. So I went ahead and um, applied the makeup on the wig as well the lace and it also came with an adjustable strap which is very convenient so like you guys can see i have the wig on my head and it's definitely giving scalp it's it's eating so i like to make sure that everything is aligned up correctly before i go ahead and actually glue down the lace so um, i like to you know place the wig where i want it to be and I'm now it's time for me to go ahead and cut off the ear tab. Like I always say, guys, during this step, you want to make sure you take your time um, while cutting the ear tab because you don't want your ear tabs to be kind of like lopsided or, or even uneven. So take definitely take your time. It's all about being patient. And also, the more you do it, the better you will get. So definitely take your time. So I did it to the other side. I want to make sure that everything is fit correctly and very comfortable on around my ears because sometimes it can't be a little tight back there that's why you want to cut the ear tabs really really good Now that I'm done cutting off both of the ear tab, I'm just coming in with rubbing alcohol. You want to make sure to remove any makeup on your forehead because you want the wig to stick, okay? And I like to come in with like a, um, a pencil to mark where I'm going to lay down the wig. This is very helpful for me, especially if you're a beginner. Doing this step helps a lot. And I'm coming in with my ghost bond glue, just applying that all across my hairline. And when doing this step, you want to make sure that you spread the glue out very well and make sure it's fully dry, okay, sis? And I'm going to do this step about two to three times and I am using a warm temperature to dry the glue. Now that everything is fully dry, now it's time to lay down the lace into the glue. So I like to start from the front first and lay that down and work my way to the sides. And I like to gently press the lace into the glue 
to make sure that everything is like molded in and I also like to run my comb through the lace to make sure that everything is like laid properly So I'm coming in with some Ebon Wonder Lace Spray. This will definitely give you a nice melted lace doing this step. So I did keep the band on for at least 20 minutes. I feel like the longer I keep it on, the better the melt will be. So yeah, and I'm just going to go ahead and run my hot comb through that wig. Because, like I said, y'all, I want a flat unit as much as possible. So, I like to do this step as well. So, now it's time to go ahead and cut off this lace. So, I like to start from the middle. I like to create three sections on the lace. And then start to cut the lace with my razor. Um, this is, like, the most easiest step for me. This is how I cut my lace and using a razor will definitely give you a nice natural hairline and like i always say y'all take your time when you cut that lace because sis if you mess up you mess up and you can't fix that but yeah so take your time so a part of my lace did lift up so i went in with my got to be my ghost bond glue to make sure everything's going to be laid the way i want it so i'm just coming in with the blow dry to make sure everything's fully dry and guys i noticed that if you don't fully let your glue dry it does leave like a white cask on your lace i don't know because i feel like this is the type of glue i'm using because i know ghost bond is like literally discontinued in the wig industry but yeah i feel like i just need a different glue but comment down below if you on what type of glue you guys use to lay down your lace because i would love to know so i'm coming in with some um, ebon wonder lace spray and also spritz to give it that extra melt um that i need this wig unit is giving luxurious like i love it so i'm just coming in with my wax stick because y'all for any curly wig unit that i have i gotta make sure this wig unit is flat as much as possible okay sis because a wig unit that's flat always eat so i'm just using my wax stick throughout the wig unit and running my hot comb through the wig so i decided to do a side part for this wig unit and um i'm still learning on how to like create the nice deep side part like i said practice does make perfect so yeah so this is me attempting to do this the deep side part i mean we all have to start somewhere because i know me i'm always gonna try something that i usually don't do i ain't gonna lie y'all i was kind of struggling with this but i just kept going and fun fact about this hair y'all it did not tangle a single bit, which is very surprising because some curly wig units, they do tangle up, but this hair, mm -mm, sis, it did not tangle. It was so easy to detangle and there was barely any shedding, which is absolutely must. So now I'm just doing section by section to flatly press out the wig unit. Like I said, y'all, I want a nice flat unit. When doing this step, I like to go very slow with my hot comb because I want to make sure, like I said, this wig unit to be flat as much as possible.
so I'm just coming in with some makeup to fill in any places that need to be covered up. Okay, now it's time to pull out some baby hairs. So I decided to do two swoops and also some sideburns on the side. Cute and simple, so I'm just pulling a section of baby hairs out, combing through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the sideburns as well. I like to run my hot comb through my baby edges because it helps me see what I'm working with. I sprayed a little bit of Evan Wonderly spray on the baby edges because this will definitely keep them laying flat. While that my baby hairs are being laid, I'm gonna go ahead and um, fix up my side part to define it even more. And once again, I'm just running my hot comb through that wig unit. Literally, the hot comb is like your best friend when installing a wig. to pluck some of the baby hairs as well because it was just kind of too thick and like I said running the hot comb through the edges definitely helps you see what you're working with. So I'm just using my scissors to cut the baby hairs. So I'm coming in with my small curling iron. I like to curl it going up because it gives you that nice curl when you start to swoop your edges. So I do this throughout the whole entire baby hairs that I'm about to lay.
so I decided to use the spray method to lay my baby edges instead of using any mousse but I did use a little bit of gel on the base of the hair just to get the swoop going and then throughout the rest of like the um, baby hairs I did use the Ebony Wonder Lace Spray. Like I always say if you guys watch my previous videos um, when, while doing the baby hairs you want to make sure you're using that C method placing your finger right in the middle of the hair and then swooping it. That's how I was able to learn how to do my baby edges by doing the C method. But like I always say y'all, the more you do it, the better you will get. Practice does make perfect. So my advice to you sis is just keep on trying until you get it. As y'all can see, my sideburns weren't laying the way I wanted them to, so I just kept playing with them until I got it the way I wanted them to be. So now it's time to style. I'm just coming in with my Gatsubuku spray. This will definitely keep the hair in place, especially when I run my hot comb through the wig. So the style I was going for was just to create a little hump in the front of the hair, just to give it that nice extra flowy look. Now that everything's done the way I like it, it's time to wet the hair and see how nice and defined the, the water wave, wave looks like. So I'm just using a spray bottle filled with water and also I'm using some mousse to give the hair some extra definition.
y'all look at those curls it's definitely giving like water waves for real it's so pretty like i said it does not tangle at all this hair unit is so bomb Alright, so I'm coming in to define my part. This step completes the hair. So I'm just coming in with my tinted spray. I kind of noticed that the tint spray is a different color compared to the wig, but it works for now. The hair still turned out really cute, but all together this wig unit was absolutely bomb. Like, I love a deep water wave wig that does not tangle. Um, also the lace was definitely giving HD lace. That is something that we all look for, right, in a wig unit. And I did come up with come in with some mascara just to go ahead and close up the part just a little bit but all together like i said y'all this wig unit turned out really good i'm so proud of myself that i did that your girl did it so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy watching me install this wig unit everything will be linked down below but before we go don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye